Qatar, one of the richest countries in the world per capita. Its booming construction industry has been fueled by its successful bid to host the 2022 World Cup. But while arguments rage over the risks footballers will face playing in Qatar's extreme heat, migrant workers from Nepal are dying on the job in record numbers. This summer, the bodies of scores of migrant workers in Qatar have been flown home to their families in Nepal. Despite assurances from the World Cup organizers that workers' rights will be respected, these deaths are just the worst examples of the exploitation and abuse which is rife in Qatar's construction industry. This glittering world is built by men who live in a very different one. These labor camps on the outskirts of the capital Doha are home to thousands of migrant workers. In this camp, over 600 men share just two kitchens. Nepalese make up the highest numbers but lowest paid migrant laborers in Qatar. They're victims of a state-run sponsorship system which binds each worker to a single employer. They cannot leave their job or even the country without their employer's permission. This system, combined with the huge debts most workers owe in Nepal, leaves them trapped especially if they find themselves with jobs and salaries very different to what they were promised. In the worst cases, this leads to forced labor, a modern form of slavery. This worker now shares a tiny room with 11 other men not far from the exclusive hotels of central Doha. But despite being cheated, he feels he cannot leave. Many migrants allege they are forced to work without pay, often for months. In the worst cases, migrants have no choice but to run away and find alternative work illegally. While some long to go home, others return to Nepal much sooner than they could ever have imagined. Ganesh Biswakarma left his home in rural Nepal for a job in Qatar. Six weeks later, he died of a cardiac arrest. 
he was just 16. <laughs> Ganesh dreamed of earning enough overseas to build a beautiful house for his impoverished family. But that dream took him on a journey of exploitation and deceit, a fake passport, extortionate recruitment fees and a huge debt, which typifies the experience of so many young Nepalese migrants. As they battle with their grief, Ganesh's family must also face the fact that they are now deeper in poverty than ever before. In a cramped room behind the Nepali embassy in Qatar, a large group of migrants have sought shelter from their employer, who failed to pay them for months and is refusing to issue them with the exit permits they need to leave the country. Without ID cards, migrants are effectively illegal aliens and can no longer move about freely. Ram Kumar Mohra suffered even worse abuse. His ordeal has been so stressful that he has lost all his hair. In 2022, Qatar will host the World Cup. 